Jeff Hunt, small Melissa, and you have a garage in the Dungan Virginia. It's called Hunt's Garage. But I've been a welder for many years. Um, when my kids were real small, I decided to move back to uh, the community I grew up in because of the community. And I wanted them to grow up as I did in the country and uh, have the same friends their entire life and things like this. And uh, But I've welded for many years, uh, I've fabricated, uh, I can work on any kind of mill or farm equipment, uh, dozer equipment. Uh, I've got portable units that I can take out if I need to. Uh, say a farmer can't get to my garage, he just call me, I'll go to his farm, work on his track. Or, uh, so, and the boat dock is within a quarter of a mile. Somebody breaks down with their boat, I can go out there and fix it. It's right there. Uh, we're at the foot of the High Nile Mountains. Uh, I can also fix ATVs, things like that. Uh, I can also go and retrieve them, bring them back to the garage if I need to, if I can't fix them on the spot. So uh, that's what I'm offering. And uh, what we're needing to expand on is I, I'd like to have a tire machine and a balancer. Also, we purchased a building from the town of Dagana, which, Dagana, which I am on the town council there. And it's been so for about six years. So I'm very passionate about our town, seeing we're on, trying to get on the Clinch River Initiative, bring tourism and more business into our town. So it's very important to me. And I, I would like to see our town become what it once was. I recently got my state inspection last year. Uh, so I'll be uh, a state inspection station also in our town, which is the only one in the area with, without driving, like she said, 20 minutes either direction to get a state inspection sticker. Uh, also, I had the Commissioner of Revenue run me some data on how many vehicles was tagged in the 24245 zip code. Now, there's about 1,050 vehicles tagged. And just with the stickers alone, there's about $17,000 in income alone, just on stickers. Uh, and everybody has to have a Virginia inspection sticker. We did all the repairs to the building ourselves. We used our own money for the, for the roof, uh, um, the bathroom, which is under construction right now. Um, we uh, got a small business loan from uh, the EDA, which is EDA. John Kilburn. So uh, I purchased a garage door, um, a lift, and uh, I had to pour some concrete and gravel to make the inspection bay long enough. It has to be 40 feet. Also, the trooper has been out and inspected the garage, and it is uh, he, he gave me the okay for, this, for the garage. But I have to be open for six months before I get the actual stick. Uh, and I'm on the verge of that right now. Uh, also, another thing lots of people ask me, why do you think you can make it? There's a garage in every corner. Thank God there's not near town. Uh, but uh, obviously that's very important. What makes us think we can make it? One of the biggest things is we're going to be open six days a week. There's rarely any garages open on Saturday that you can get a Virginia State Inspection sticker. We will be available to our community and to our public. We, we incorporated our logo. I found this sawway when I was cleaning the property up. And I made it into a sign and took it and had it uh, pinstripe painted like a uh, like in the old days when they used to paint on the side of the car doors and things like that. So we, we use our logo on everything, our business cards, our shirts. When we purchased the building from the town of Dungan, it had been a sewing factory for many years and employed several, probably a hundred people at least. But the sewing factory burned down. So the building was almost it's completely set, destroyed. Yeah, and it sat there for um, at least 15 years unoccupied uh, and it was grown up. And the conditions when I bought the property was to make it presentable to town. And I, and I think, and don't mean to brag, but I think I've done that pretty well. This is what the, the town was like years ago. And, uh, and this is what this, the town is now. And to me it's sad because to me years ago the town was much more prosperous than it is now. But... This is actually my garage, but it's not that big anymore because it burnt down. And this is our garage now. So you're pretty much looking at the past, present, and we are the future. Hunt's garage. Come see us. Thank you all for your time.